This movie covers the diagnostic information that the user can read from each particular device connected to 2x fire system using 03.x firmware version. To view these values, you need to be logged into the panel using an installer code. To log into the panel as the installer, press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial turn it to select a user, which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial to scroll down to the password option. Using the button select the correct password for the user. To do this, simply turn the jog dial to select the correct number and by pressing, the button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Using the jog dial, scroll down to test and press the button. Now find diagnostics entry and press the button again. Then press the jog dial to select the first position individual device. Enter the device loop number and address of the device that you want to view. For this example, I will choose a device with address 11 on loop number one. Now press the jog dial or F3 key to move to the next option, selecting the scanning mode. The available modes are STA, status polling mode, AV1, analog value 1 polling mode, AV2, analog value 2 polling mode, GRP, group status polling mode. Not all the modes are allowed for all the loop protocols. Where a polling mode is not supported by a device, the panel uses the default polling mode. In Aratech protocol, only AV1 and AV2 modes are available, and STA and GRP actually use AV1 mode. The AB, A and B suffix indicates the loop channel used. By selecting AB, the polling is from both sides, and will normally be used, for retrieving raw device data. Be aware, this option alters the normal detection scan to only poll the device under test. This means that no alarms are reported by the system, while this test is being performed. Now, press F4 to select Enter, and start reading the device data. VAL1 is an analog value 1, for AV1 or AV2 mode. The analog values displayed, are the raw binary values, received from the device. This should be around 60 in clean air, for optical detectors. For 2000 series, AV2 mode is only relevant for a multi-detector, where it returns the heat value. For other devices, it should be zero. VAL2 is the device type value. The available types are shown below. In this case, we are dealing with an optical sensor. VAL3 is the device address. The address you set in detector is BCD, while the address shown in the diagnostics is the hex value, converted to decimal. Below is an example. VAL4 stands for device status. Normally it is an echo of the control sent by the panel. You will generally see VAL4 equals 2, except in AV2 mode, where VAL4 equals 0. For multi-detectors, control equals 0 tells the detector to return the heat value, while control equals 2, returns the optical value. VAL5 is the CRC checksum for values from 1 to 4. The cyclic redundancy check is used to verify the data. When the panel detects CRC error, a CRC fault message is displayed. When you have finished viewing data, press F3 to move to the next device. Once completed, press F2 to exit the diagnostic test and return to the main screen.